What's up everyone, Hollow Strife here bringing you another video on Gears 5. This time we are covering the Marksman. I am going to change things up a little bit, like this intro, try some new stuff so the video flows better. Anyway, on to the guide. Like I mentioned, this one will be covering everything there is to know about the Marksman. One of the sniper classes available in Gears 5. This series of horde guides are aimed at players new to Gears or to those of you who are returning after a long time away from the game. So, if you are a hardcore fan, then please have a little bit of patience. But before we start, if these guides are helpful or you just like this kind of content, then be sure to subscribe, leave a like, it really helps me out. Starting out, the Marksman will have the following loadout, the Markser, Longshot and Boltot. When you first start out with any class, I would say use whatever you like. But the Marksman has two perks which both benefit from using precision rifles. So I would suggest you get used to using the Marksman, Longshot and M-Bar rifles, as this is what this class is best with. But a bit more on perks later. Every class in Gears 5 comes with an ultimate and a passive ability. So we'll cover those first. The Marksman's ultimate ability is called X-Ray, which will allow you to see and shoot enemies through walls with ballistic weapons for 15 seconds. Shooting through surfaces also gives you a damage buff, but I could not find anything anywhere saying how much this bonus is. So if any of you watching do know this, please leave it down in a comment below. This ultimate ability has a cooldown of 400 seconds, but let's not forget the passive ability. It's something quite simple. Your bullets will gain bullet penetration against enemy critical areas. This means that if you headshot a drone and there's a Scion or a boss stood directly behind it, you'll hit both. It is possible to headshot multiple enemies with this passive, but collateral headshots are never easy to pull off, so good luck to you. Leveling any class up in Gears 5 takes a lot of class experience. Precisely this much that I am showing you on screen just now. It takes just over 369,000 experience to max out any single class. But if you have played Gears 5 before and you happen to level up Faz, the overly British one in the series, then the progress you made with him will have been transferred to this class with the launch of Operation 5. This was something I forgot to mention last week with my Infiltrator Guide, as that class used to be Kate when Gears 5 originally launched. When you first start with a Marksman, you will only have one skill card, Score Boost, and one card slot to put this in. Leveling up any class gives you access to more cards and card slots. You earn extra card slots when you hit levels 3, 5, 7 and 9, and you can get to level 9 quite quickly, especially if you make the most of the class EXP boost you get from doing daily horde and escape. Now onto skill cards specifically. As I mentioned earlier, when you start out at level 1, all you will have is score boost. Use this for now, or don't, it won't really make much of a difference. Level 2 it will unlock one of your first core skill cards, Ambush. Does exactly what it says on the tin, just does extra critical damage to targets above 90% health. Upon unlocking your second card slot, you will get Counter Snipe. Use it for now, as it gives you a bit of damage resistance to enemy snipers. Level 4 will unlock Steady Hand. You can use this as your second card for now, but don't become reliant on it. Ideally, you want to be killing enemies before they can get a shot off. When you get your third card slot, you'll also unlock another core skill card, Exploit Weakness. This just makes your critical hits do even more damage. You've probably seen a theme here. At level 6, you will unlock Master Marksman. Please do not use this card. Like I said last week, if you're struggling to hit your active reloads, just practice in the time between waves or go into a private match. It's not worth wasting a whole card slot on. When you unlock your fourth card slot, you will also get modified long shot. Use this for now. This is a bit of a weird one, 
At lower levels, this card not really worth using. But once you level it up to level 5 or 6, it is actually worth it. But I will cover cards and leveling them up a bit later on. At level 8, you will get another pointless skill card. Embar Ammo Capacity. The buff on this one isn't great, and getting an engineer to build your weapons lock is much more effective. Just to hate on this card even more, one of the perks for the marksman is increased ammo capacity across everything. Which is three times as good as this card, even when it is at max rank. Congratulations, you've just hit level 9 and you've got your last card slot. You will also have unlocked Patience. This card is okay. I think it needs a bit of tweaking, as two minutes with taking no damage is a bit difficult. Use it for now, but don't expect to get too much out of it. Level 10 will unlock another core-ish skill card, Critical Parade. This will allow your ultimate ability to last for longer as you get more and more headshots. At max rank, each headshot will add on almost 4 seconds to your ultimate duration. I do like this card, but you do have other options available here. At level 11, you will unlock Modified Embar, which again, not worth using at the lower ranks, but once you level it up a bit, it can be useful. However, I would suggest skipping on this one though, just because of this next skill card. Longshot Handling, which is unlocked at level 12 allows you to automatically reload whenever you get a critical kill with the long shot. At max rank this card goes up to 100%, meaning so long as you keep hitting headshots and getting kills, you will never need to reload. If you pair this with explosive critical hit, unlocked at level 13, you can do a lot of damage all over the map. I have seen some people hate on this card, but I really enjoy using it. I would call both long shot handling and explosive critical hit core cards for this build. At level 14 you will unlock epic score boost which is just a higher rarity and better version of the score boost that you started out with. So unless you're going for a high scoring horde do not bother using this card. The marksman unlocks his gold skill card at level 16 and this one is called icy precision. However, I have mixed feelings toward this card. Some people like it, but I think it is only really useful against a few enemies. It is best paired with the Markser. You can freeze a boss in 3-8 to eight bullets, depending on what rank you have this skill card. Most of the enemies you can kill in a bullet or two, so I choose not to waste a skill card when it's only going to be useful every 10th wave. The final build I would recommend for the Marksman would look like this. However, these three skill cards are your best choices for your last card, so it depends entirely on your playstyle which one you would prefer. I mentioned earlier about leveling up skill cards. To do that you need to earn duplicate cards, and you will only ever earn cards that you've already unlocked. So, don't expect to be leveling up your gold card at level 1. It takes a total of 39 duplicate cards to max out any skill, and you can use some of your gears coins to pay for those duplicates. There is one final thing to unlock with the Marksman though. At level 20 you will unlock the Heroic Venom Weapon Skin for the Long Shot Sniper Rifle. This is what it looks like. Next thing to cover, perks. I have touched on these briefly already, so I won't spend too much time on them. Each class in Horde gets access to four different perks which can all be leveled up to rank 10, costing more and more energy, but also granting bigger bonuses as you level them up. To max out any single perk, it costs 24,250 energy, so this can get expensive. The marksman perks are as follows, damage as cooldown, ammo capacity, precision rifle damage and critical damage. And here we have all the values at each rank as well. The 
best time to start taking perks in a horde game is around wave 20 to 30 because your engineer will need the energy to build a base at first. I will say they'll put a single point into the damage cooldown early on. This makes it so that as you do damage in the rounds your ultimate's cooldown gets shorter and shorter. I did a couple of tests and it seems that once you max this perk out about 550 points worth of damage will take a single second off your ultimate cooldown. It doesn't sound like much but your long shot actives can do upward of 10,000 damage not including the explosion if you chose to run that card. The first perks you want to max out though are precision rifle damage and critical damage at about the same rate. These just make your precision weapons, the marks are long shot and bar, do more damage. Then you can level up the damage cooldown and finish off with ammo capacity. Ammo capacity is a bit of a hidden gem actually as it will double the amount of ammo and grenades you can carry for any weapon, so long as it's not a heavy weapon. The marksman is great at picking off enemies across the map while remaining safe at the back of your base. It's best to start out each round, if possible, using your x-ray ability. Use this time to pick off high value targets like scions, snipers and elite drones. Once this runs out just remain safe, pick your shots and if you see a small cluster of enemies, say two grenadiers, a scion and a drone, bunching up on some barriers, aim for the drone assuming you have explosive critical hit on, and you will likely wipe all of them out with a single bullet. There are a couple of classes that pair amazingly well with the marksman. The first one is the veteran, who can grant you an aimbot for enemies heads, and it's just so satisfying hitting quick headshot after quick headshot. The next class I want to mention is the combat medic, as if you have one of these on your team they can grant you stim just helps keep you alive for a little bit longer. The veteran can also provide stim only while they have their ultimate active and if they've got a certain card set up going. Avoid playing any horde game with more than one marksman as there is an annoying bug in the game right now. Let's say you are marksman number one and you've just popped your ultimate ability. It works fine until five seconds later marksman two uses his ultimate ability. Yours will stop working as it's supposed to anyway. You'll still have your ability counting down and you can still shoot through walls but you will not be able to see the silhouettes of enemies. I'm not entirely sure why this happens but hopefully it will be patched soon. The last class I want to mention is basically any of the engineers. These guys will be making all the barriers weapons locker Basically, it makes your life easier when you're trying to snipe during the chaos that is horde mode. That is everything there is to the marksman in horde mode. If this guide helped you out at all, or if you learned anything new, or if you just like this kind of content, then hit that subscribe button as I'm going to be covering all the new classes. Come and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash hollow strife. We'll also put a link in the description of this video as I do plan on streaming again very soon. That way we can hang out, do some horde, escape and competitive together. But that is everything for now. Have a great day hacking through walls and I will see you in the next one.